wearing last week? No, no this it's is not. Don't worry about it. Okay. I know. This he was not, wearing a brown sweater. This is not the part that's supposed to match, Slick. Give it a moment's thought. What are we doing now? The promo. You know what they have to match? Nothing. <laughs> No promo ever has to match anything. I thought we were about to do... Welcome to the exciting world of television. A wholly new field for you to begin to learn in. Well spoken, Roger. Well, that's uh, something that you rarely hear. Compliments really paid to you. Gene Hackman and Kevin Costner in the Pentagon thriller No Way Out. That's this week on Cisco and Ebert. Now, I saw... Yes, I want to do it again. I saw one of these promos on Channel 2 last night or two nights ago. I believe it was shot in long distance or a pullout. In other words, it's in a small box in the middle of a film strip. I could barely see Roger and me, and if I were uh, designing the promo, I would have a much tighter shot of Roger and me. Not for vanity reasons, but so that you could Can't make out you, so that you could make out who we are. Yes. It starts to fall. It starts to fall and it flies back in. So, uh, uh, by you can barely see that, it. Violating our rule that you never go into the screen for the punchline. You barely can see us. And I think they're, I think they're, they're ineffective. Gene Hackman and Kevin Costner in the Pentagon thriller No Way Out. That's this week on Cisco and Ebert. You sounded very jaded. Two thrillers this week on Cisco and Ebert. First, we'll review Michael Caine and Pierce Brosnan in The Fourth Protocol. And then Gene Hackman and Kevin Costner star in No Way Out. And we have a third thriller, too, if you're interested. What do you mean, two thrillers? They left out the Big Easy. They only review two movies in every promo. So we got they picked those two. Why? why those I don't two? know why. I didn't pick them. Ask okay. the person that picked them. The Big Easy. I think they probably went for star names. Just saying the name The Big Easy without any people involved means nothing. It means nothing. Randy Quaid, is he a star? Dennis Quaid, close. Dennis Quaid. No. Okay, read people. it this way then. Read it this way. How about, no, let's, let's, why does this always have to be lockstep? How about something like this? It's Thriller Week on Cisco and Ebert, and we've got three big ones, and then three one-liners. They made Dennis, the Dennis Quaid in the Big Easy, Michael Caine in the Fourth Protocol, so and so, and No Way Out. That's a better promo. Okay, ready? I guess you're going to do it. You have to rewrite it, don't we? Because you can't. Oh no, let's. You can't add lib, uh, Gene. Let can we? Can we do for the last week, and when next week we'll do it. Uh, next year we'll we do it next year. No, every week counts. Him, you read it then. You ad lib it. I'll do nothing. Let him do whatever he wants. This is going to be today's That's why theme. I think we ought to write it into the... Uh, no, let him do it. Why don't we just have Gene say it's Thriller Week on Cisco and Ebert. Roger does the... I think I'd like thing. to have it written on a monitor if that's okay. For yourself? Yes. Okay. So you start at the top, Put okay? Pause, then. Start at the top or make a new one, okay. Uh, that's not it. It's further down. Pass that out. All new copy. There. Right there. It's Thriller Week on Cisco and Ebert in the movies, and we've got three new ones. Got to have energy up and the well, movies out. Why don't you read both parts? I'd like to. Get your I energy know that. up, please. Please get your energy up. I can't read the top line. There we go. Okay. It's Thriller Week on Cisco and Ebert in the movies, and we've got three new ones. Dennis Quaid in The Big Easy, Michael Caine in The Fourth Protocol, and Kevin Costner and Gene Hackman in No Way Out. That's this week on Cisco and Ebert and the movies. I think you're going to have to redo it because you're going to get flash frames with the speed with which he read across those stars and titles. You won't, even, you won't have a second and a half. Okay, fine. Sound a little excited, Gene. Sound less excited, Roger. That's why we're redoing it, because of what you did. 
It's Thriller Week on Cisco and Ebert at the movies, and we've got three it's new ones. And the movies, not at the movies. And that's why we were doing it this time. It's Thriller Week on Cisco and Ebert in the movies, and we've got three new ones. Dennis Quaid in The Big Easy, Michael Caine in The Fourth Protocol, and Kevin Costner and Gene Hackman in No Way Out. That's this week on Cisco and Ebert and the movies. And the asshole. Great. That was great. And that's Roger. Pleasure. <clears throat> Remember what Jamie told us. <clears throat> yeah, helpful you know, I'll, now I'll do what Jamie told us because Jamie and I agreed together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doer. Doer. That's what I like. A guy that went to an Ivy League school no, no, that doesn't no. know how the English language. She just said dire. He said doer, of course. Doer that's what, straight. That's, 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 that's what that favorite band. That's because of that's what that whole goddamn culture drinks to death. Okay, wow, all of wasps. Okay, ready? You know, they don't get enough shit, basically, wasps. They don't. They don't. They're you know, called they yuppies don't. now. They They're run the yuppies. goddamn country, and all of us, all of our... I'm speaking to everyone who's eavesdropping right now. All they of don't us run the whole are. goddamn country, Gene. What about the... International bankers. <laughs> oh yeah. Not to mention the Vatican. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about they run and the commies. No, no, no. They run the country. The wasps run the country, and all of us should band together and overthrow them. And there could be. You probably Everybody think our could, president all is a wasp. Fun. You think our president is a wasp, don't you? No, he's not a wasp. Okay. He isn't because he's Irish, so he's Celtic. You know that. Yeah, but they're, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They're all Protestants. They've all been Protestants. You know okay, that. we have to do this. Okay, here we go. Come on, band together, people. Let's overthrow the country. Protestants, people who sort of want a religion. Here we go. Let's stick <laughs> together. Know. The Catholics and the fucking Jews. We go back a few years together. Come on, hey, listen. we're real. We're real. We get down and get dirty. Listen, I'll take we it. We were burning I'll each other a... when Martin Luther was only a gleam in his mother's eye. I'll take a Baptist. <laughs> I'll take a Baptist. I go back eight, six thousand years. I want Baptist. I mean, Somebody that has some goddamn passion, some blood coursing through their veins. Case closed. Anything. Right. Goddamn Protestants. Okay. Biggest thing that happens for them on Sunday is a bake sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got to decide what color yellow to tie to fucking buy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentlemen. We're gonna, we're He's going right. To... Gee, what should it be? Lime green or dark green today, He's honey? Right. The only fucking religion that has the Reader's Digest is a prayer book. <laughs> <laughs> They don't get enough shit, and they have all the money. They have all the money. They only last all day. those guys are—they're all running Northern Trust. They have all the banks on the sale Street. It's all horseshit. The only time Protestants get on their knees is to adjust the fucking they all TV the, set. They have all the—they have all the goddamn insurance companies. They have all the insurance companies. They run the government. They—they they run everything. You're right. Okay, tape is rolling, and here we go. Stand by. Stand by, please. Stand by. Here we go. Steve Martin's new comedy, Roxanne. This week on Siskel and Ebert and the movies. You said it a little too fast. No, I think we were that too long. We were, yeah. Well, then it's going to have to be Siskel and Ebert. Back it up a little bit. Steve Martin in Roxanne. New comedy, I think. That's right. That's right. Steve Martin's new comedy. Oh, fuck. Now, yeah, get your energy out. Yeah, Steve Martin's new comedy. I already, Rock shot, my, I already shot my wad on the Protestant. <laughs> no, you're proud it's, of your pro. You're actually, yours is better. Roger, here we go. Here we go. The science fiction thriller Robocop. This week on Cisco and Ebert in the movies. This week on Cisco and Ebert in the movies, the science fiction adventure Robocop. Let's do that again. <laughs> Very funny, Donna, and you're my friend. That's the last time you'll ever enter my home. You know that for Gene, speech is a second language? Roger's uh, first language is, yes, I'll have apple pie with my order. He asked the McDonald's girls if he can have apple pie with our, their order before they ask him. And you know what Gene says when he goes into McDonald's? Can I have apple with their, with their order? <laughs> Roger is the only guy in the history... To ever answer yes to every question he's asked at McDonald's. Want some salad with your apple pie? Want some french fries with your salad? Want some hamburger with your french fries? 
Want some shake with your? <laughs> Want some shake? Want some shake? I knew Gene. Anything. I knew Gene couldn't sustain that string for long without a grammatic. I don't error. know how many items there are, but they've worked him through the whole yeah, fucking menu. Right. Gene was he in set there a the record. Other day. Gene was he in the other day. He set a record. He ordered every fucking thing they have. He ordered a cone and a sundae. Now the other day, Gene was in there, and the little girl said to him, "Would you like some French fries with your order?" Or Gene's answer was, "No, maybe other, other, up, up, <laughs> dude, uh, yeah, no." <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. And then he walked out. Oh, they said, you know what they said? They saw Roger walking and they said, one of everything to go and one of everything to stay here. When they saw Gene walking in with a little a little kid behind the counter called for the manager and said, Mr. Jones, can you come out here? You can understand Mr. Siskel, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever understand him when he's ordering. <laughs> All right. All right, what will you have, sir? Uh, quarter, counter quarter, counter quarter, uh, 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 quarter pounder, uh, cheese, no cheese, cheese, no cheese. They ask Roger, do you want um, cheese with your cheeseburger? He says, shake yes. Milk, shake milk, shake milk. <laughs> shake milk, shake milk. <laughs> Uh, what would you God. like? He goes to Burger King. What would you like on it, sir? The following. <laughs> <laughs> they asked Roger what they. I'll have the following and another thing. <laughs> and another thing. Pickle. <laughs> they asked Roger what they now, like on his burger. He yeah. says salad, cherry pie, and a coke well, on the burger. With all due respect. <laughs> with all due respect. I know. Come on. There we go. <laughs> This week on Cisco and Ebert in the movies, the science fiction adventure RoboCop. And Michael Keaton's new company.